things that all pull from the fleece. There's a lot of things that are wrong inside him. Hi, this is Victor Larkil from the beautiful Great House, our sanctuary in Spain. I'm about to show you, or well, not me, this guy over there, uh, Tom McPhee from the World Animal Awareness Channel is going to show you the story of Chico, a beautiful rescue, a dog found in a horrible condition that little by little is changing. And he's becoming the dog he should always be. Today we're telling you this beautiful rescue story from the World Animal Awareness Channel. Our collaboration with the channel is helping us reach more and more people, get a wider audience, as well as fundraise in ways we couldn't do it before. Please watch this video, it's a full rescue story. And please don't forget to donate at the end. Every, everything, all the proceeds from this fundraiser are coming to us. This is really helpful. Please donate. Thank you very much. And watch the video to the end, it helps. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Hi, my brother and I are going on a rescue mission. Yesterday I received a call for help. They sent me this video of the most emaciated dog I have ever seen. The poor dog is trying to survive grabbing food from the garbage. I asked my friend Linda to go get him and take him to a safe place. So this morning my brother and I have gone on a trip. We've been traveling for seven hours already. And we're gonna pick him up from Linda's place. I tell you, this is gonna be shocking. This dog is in such a terrible condition. I don't even know if he's gonna make it back to our hospital. We see. Is it a male or a female? A male. 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 You want to help him and take a look? Look at the need though. Forty degrees, Seville, Spain. We receive an emergency alert. A little dog has been found in a deplorable condition. We don't hesitate. We've named him Chico, and we're going to save his life. Ah, tiene miles de pulgas. All of these are fleas. These are all poo from the fleas. You can see them walking and crawling. Look at this. Did you capture how thin he is? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Chico is afraid of us. We don't blame him. His life has been incredibly tough. His malnutrition tells a sorrowful and heart-rending tale, one that we are determined to rewrite. He's full of 
fleas. He has ticks all over his body. Now, the first thing we will do is we will get rid of all of this. But that's not the worst. The worst is his overall condition. It's just terrible, terrible. When you see an animal like this, you can count that he's gonna have anemia. For sure, he's gonna have a leukiosis, maybe leishmaniosis, anaplasmosis, heartworm. We will see. But when a dog gets to be in this position, there's a lot of things that are wrong inside him. It is really heartbreaking that somebody allows his dog to be like this. Anyway, this is Chico. Pienso no, eh? Pienso no lo reconoce. Pero bueno, es posible que tenga el hombro dislocado. No sé. ¿Qué me miras con esa carita? Está haciendo de porras. La otra pata que tiene ahí. Just in this video, I introduce you to Chico, our latest rescue. The images speak by themselves. The first video they sent me, I just couldn't believe it. I had to jump on the car and we drove 14 hours to 
go and get him. The first time I saw him, I grabbed him in my arms. He looked at me and he just gave up in the saddest expression that I have ever felt. We drove the entire day to get him to a safe place. Today, we took him to our hospital. Watch it. In today's video, you're gonna understand the gravity of his situation. Have a look at this, this is Chico. Abre. Wow, Dios mío. Pero bueno. Oh my God, he's covered with parasites. It has a poorly healed humerus fracture, a shoulder fracture. It has formed a bone callus. We're going to draw blood from him. Then we'll bathe him, okay? He has so much anemia that his blood looks like water. Now we're going to take his blood pressure. His blood pressure is very low. He'll need a blood transfusion. We'll check his blood type. Sí, sí, claro. Para claro. saber y preparar para transfundir. Claro. Vale. We're going to perform a blood transfusion right now. Tiene 
soplo. He has a heart murmur due to the low amount of red blood cells. When we do the transfusion, all of this will improve. He's malnourished, has parasites, 12% hematocrit. He's in a deplorable condition. We're going to do it. You can see that his urea is elevated due to his dehydration. His albumin levels are very low, but everything will change after the bag of blood. I was right to be afraid. Chico is very ill. He has ehrlichiosis, anaplasmosis, and leishmaniasis, three diseases transmitted by parasites. His blood is like water. He has 1.7 million red blood cells when he should have 6 million. Chico didn't get to be in that position overnight. He was seen by thousands of people during the last few months until he got to a point, well, you've seen it. Chico is now at the hospital. He's going to have a blood transfusion. Without it, he's not going to make it. He needs your help. Please donate. Help us save him. Thank you. ¿Ya tienes la sangre, Isidor? Sí. Muy bien. Sangre es vida. Vamos a darle vida. Perfecto. Muy bien. Pues ahora ya lo vamos a monitorizar. Hi, part three, Chico's Rescue. If you're new to this channel, you're here probably because you've seen Chico's picture. It is not every day that one sees a dog in such a condition. We just rescued him a couple of days ago, found in a horrific condition in the south of the country, in Seville, a place that right now is 50 degrees Celsius. It's the hottest place in the country, in one of the hottest countries in the world. And there he was, on the streets, trying to find some food, failing to find water. We got him in the car, completely full with parasites, internal and external. And we drove for seven hours, 14 hours in total, back home to take him right the next day to the hospital. Yesterday, you saw the first moments at the hospital. 
you saw Isidore's face. Isidore is a super, he's a super optimistic guy, but when he saw him, he was like, wow, my God, this is a dog that had given up completely. But still he was fighting, he was trying to hold on to be alive. We did a blood test. The results came out, three diseases, leishmaniasis, ehrlichiosis, and anaplasmosis. And above all, a level of anemia that is incompatible with life. 1.5, 1.6 million red blood cells when he should have 6 million. The only thing that could save him was a blood transfusion. Have a look at this. This is Chico. ¿Ya tienes la sangre, Isidor? Sí. Muy bien. Bueno, sangre, que sangre es vida. Sangre es vida. Vamos a darle vida. Vamos a ¿Te ver. parece bien? Me parece muy bien. Me parece fantástico. Vamos allá. Let's go. Ah, con la lamparita se le ve mejor, ¿eh? Sí, Estamos sí, tranquilos. Sí. Es que aquí hace un frío que... ¿Lo pasamos aquí, eh? Sí, sí. Pues, Sí, ya está temperada. Sí. Pesa 6 kilos. Vale, 6 kilos. Por cierto, qué bueno es, ¿eh? Esto está tapado, ¿vale? Está vale. en la larga y ya está conectado. Pero necesito que alguien eh, calcule sí, la velocidad. Sí, sí, ¿no? Es la primera también, claro. Total, 180. Peso, 90 hoy y 90 mañana. Depende del peso. Sí, del peso. Es igual. ¿Le vas a poner más mañana? Sí. Una, una reacción, reacción adversa, para eso hay que controlar la temperatura y la tensión y a subir la velocidad a más. Bueno, pues ahora vamos a ver qué pasa. Bueno, el volumen que se me ha fundido. 1,5 durante media hora. Durante 30 minutos. Si la tensión y la temperatura bien, vale. se sube a 40 mililitros hora durante 2,25 horas. Vale. Vale. ¿Está en 1,5? 1,5. Vale. Vale. vale, ya le puedes poner. ¿eh? Vale. Perfecto. Muy bien, pues ahora ya lo vamos a monitorizar. Eh, 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 eh. no, no, no. Voy a por el cable. Esto es la anemia sí, super marcada que tiene. Tiene las mucosas pálidas, pálidas, pálidas. Y en los ojos. Esos ojos hundidos también son de, de la falta de líquido. Ahí, chico. Venga, vamos a pelear. Veremos si le sienta bien la sangre y remonta un poco. Sí. 
Vols venir amb bessons llim, no? Si som deu... No més, tenim que ser més. A veure, si no sé si no sé si cap altra cosa que és... No hi ha? Sí. Sí, com si respirara el corazón. Sí. Nosotros en la facultad siempre nos dicen que escuchemos todos los corazones que podamos. Porque hay soplos que son muy difíciles de... 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 ¿Cuál era la que tenía Basal? Tenía 150, 100. ¿Algo me pasa? Digo, ¿me ha picado algo? A mí me pica un poco la cabeza. Ahora, pero bueno, no sé yo... Eso tiene un nombre. Sí. Veterinario. Pugas. 小 He's not my dog. It is this attitude that nearly killed him. I run one of the world's best animal rescue organizations with one of the most committed communities. Chico is in good hands, I promise you. Chico needs your help. Please, if you can, donate. And if you donate, write a comment under the video saying you donated. Be proud of what you did. Thank you very much, and, uh, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll bring you another update. Fingers crossed for Chico. Please donate. Help us save him. Thank you. Vale. Sale sucia. No sucia. Ay, mía. Cuando lo tocas, que delgado que está. Tienes otro color, eh? The attention of everyone that follows this channel is focused on Chico. After four days with us, his condition is showing some signs of improvement. So much more so that we gave him the long-awaited bath. But I have to mention, before that, we had to give him a second blood transfusion. His condition is really, really complicated, even now, but he's still fighting. Have a look at this, this is Chico. He had a good night. Now we're going to run a blood test to see how much his red blood cell count has improved. You gave him a blood transfusion yesterday. Once we have the information, we will proceed with the second blood transfusion. You're looking better, huh, Chico? I'm really glad. It's surprising how he's holding on, despite being so weak. You're running tests on him, right? Yes, we're checking whether his hematocrit has increased. 
He came in with severe anemia. We'll also measure his blood pressure. His hematocrit has gone from 12% to 21%. That's fantastic, and with only half the bag. That's really good. Well done, Chico. It's hard to see, but look, what you see here is an egg, and this is another. I'm here with Chico waiting for confirmation that we can proceed with the second part of the blood transfusion. He's responding very well to the first bag of blood. He's very calm and looks better than the other day. We're going to proceed with the second part of the blood transfusion for Chico. Did he test positive for leishmaniasis? Let's give Chico a bath. He needs it. He had fleas, ticks, everything. We're going to make you look like new. He's going to look different after we bathe him. You must be enjoying this. When you touch him, you can feel how thin he is. The water is coming out brown. You can see the color of his skin change. 
He's going to feel like after a hard day's work when you take a cold shower. I'll do his head last, because they usually don't like it. That way, he won't get more nervous. You've changed color already, huh? The wound also looks better. He's behaving so well. Normally, dogs don't behave as nicely as he does. Mira, mira qué hermoso ha quedado, ¿eh? bien, oye, oye, estás de estado. Y huele bien ahora, ¿eh? No, bueno, 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 qué maravilla. Tiene un lustre ahora, madre mía. Madre de usanta. Sí, sí, sí. Pero qué artistas sois, oye, lo habéis dejado fantástico. Venga. Nosotros lo cuidamos. Bye. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Chico is starting to feel better. And that bath was necessary and important. But we just had to wait until the right moment to give it to him. Anyway. As I said, there is a slight improvement, second blood transfusion, his fight continues, he remains at the hospital. Please, if you can, donate, help us save him. Oh, look who's here. Are you keeping them company, Chico? I see Chico more lively. Chico realizes that all we want is to heal and help him, so he becomes a perfect dog. Oy, 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 ¿cómo estás?
a poco va buscando, ¿eh? Sí. Es que es tan bueno que lo dejamos aquí atadito. Bueno, señor Chico. Mr. Chico, let's go to the store with Lorena to get you a collar and have a little meal. Muy chulo. Y a comer un poquito. Me la llevo, chicos. ¿No te quieres llevar la correa? No, no me la llevo. Vamos a comprar una. Bueno, Vaya venga. fashion, ¿no? Sí. ¿Qué pasa? Una colita que empezamos. ¿Ah, sí? A ver, a ver. Chico. Vamos, que nos vamos. ¿Cómo es la colita? Es que empezó de repente a hacer así. ¿Así? ¿Te gusta una quicadilla? Tomamos la nariz, ¿eh? Bueno, ahora nos vemos. Hasta luego. Me gusta que te dé el aire a ti. Venga, nos vamos. Hacemos como si te rapto. Do you enjoy the breeze, Chico? We're leaving. Look at this beautiful weather. Vamos un ratito a la tienda. How do you feel about all this? Good, huh? It's noticeable that he enjoys this. We're going to have a good time, you'll see. Chico, do you think this is normal? What a friendly dog, my God. Look how adorable. He stayed like that. No, no sé. Está cariñoso. Está cariñoso. Ay, con cachicha. He will recover, you'll see. Bueno, venga, te voy a dejar aquí. A ver. Let's see if you move. Do you think he's not walking because of that? No quiere ni apoyarla. Lleva así desde el día que vino. Sí. Pero vamos, hoy te mueves. Yo hoy te he visto y me ha alegrado todo esta mañana. Yes, he looks different, no doubt. Estás hecho un ovillo sin querer moverte y comes muy bien, ¿eh? Ya verás. Hazle para que pueda andar. Ay, papá, papá. Cinco estrellas. Cinco, mira. Mira qué bueno, despacio, despacio. Mira qué bueno. We need to check his shoulder as soon as possible. Hay que verselo ya, sí. Ñam, ñam. <laughs> Se está relamiendo. Me miras como diciendo, ¿me dejas comer a mí tranquilito? Venga, toma. Ñam, ñam, ñam. Mira qué rico. Ay. Qué rico. He's gaining strength rapidly. Sí, sí, tiene muchas ganas. Tiene un saque increíble. Eso es que debe vivir. Sí. But we're going to have his leg examined as soon as possible. Es que esto es de un chef Michelin. ¿Tú sabes esto? Unos cachitos de patata, de arrocito, de zanahoria. Uy, que me ha criadito. Ya verás ya cómo se va a poner. You'll see how he's going to become plump and lovely. It's incredible to think how he must have been on the streets with his leg like that and no strength. Can you imagine? Uf, uf. A ver, a ver, pequeñajo. A ver, pequeñajo. Let's see, little guy. Why do you open your mouth when I pick you up? Cuando lo coges. Why do you open your mouth? It's curious, huh? Can you imagine if he turns around now and bites my nose? Let's choose a collar for you. You need to dress up. ¿Qué te parece? La actitud Attitude changes la life. Qué guapo. Eh, un poquito de color. Estás guapo. A bit of color, not so much black and white. Chico. Are you happy, Chico? It shows on your face. Ahora sí. Now you're ready for everything. Para todo. How's this change of air treating you? After so much time in the hospital. Esto. We need to get you back in shape. You shouldn't be so emaciated. Your skin and bones, I don't know if you can appreciate that. 
¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Un ratón? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Esto se come o esto qué es? No, si no se come, no. no ¿Te has visto algún juguete alguna vez? Venga, que cuando, cuando salga sí que le pillaremos uno. Nos vamos. ¿Qué? 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 La barbita. Look how much he likes my beard. Just wait until they see you with your collar. Oh, qué fresquito. Oye, pero qué fashion, ¿no? Me gusta cómo le da la naranja. Está guapo o no está guapo? Vale, ya es otra cosa, ¿eh? The two blood transfusions we did for Chico worked very well. As you can see, he has a better color. What used to be white is now a better color. We're trying to socialize him with us because he's been very scared and people haven't taken care of him. We're trying to get him used to being close to people, being in contact with humans. This is especially important after he's been through so much. That seems to be a fracture of the humerus that he had. This lump is what we call an osseous callus. He has no muscle, this is, the scapula. His leg stays retracted, and will need to do surgery and a lot of rehabilitation to rebuild his muscle. This is going to be a positive change, a great change, an extraordinary change in life. It's going to be a radical change. When he gains weight, his coat will shine, his coat is pale now, he has some alopecia. Due to malnutrition, his body defends itself this way, by losing hair and prioritizing vital organs. He's going to look so handsome. I would like to say that Chico is out of danger, but that's not the case. He still has anemia, he's still fighting. He's fighting leishmaniasis, ehrlichiosis, and anaplasmosis, three diseases transmitted by parasites that got him in this condition in the first place. But what we're seeing right now are the small steps forward, the recovery of a little dog that was in the verge of death, but I decided that it was not the right time to die. Thank you very much for your help. Please donate. Help us save Chico. Thank you. And if you donate, if you donate, just say so. Tell the world that you're helping this little dog. Thank you very much. Cómo mueve la colita ya. Me viene detrás de mí, ¿eh? No puedes hablar. Hombre, chico. ¿Cómo estás, guapo? Es que es cute, boy. So what are you doing here? Do you not want to be in your box? You just want to be outside with everyone. ¿Qué pasa, guapo? ¿Dónde vamos? ¿Sí? Aquí, sí. Ay, mira cómo lo mueve la colita. Mira cómo mueve la colita. Dale. ¡Qué alegría! Mira, mira cómo mueve la colita ya. Creo que lo que falta. Yo creo que Oye. está muy animado, ¿eh? Sí, sí. Así que vamos a tomar un poco de sangre para un nuevo blood test y luego vamos a ir a una buena caminata. Mira, 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 mira. Necesitas comer, pequeñajo. Su skin y su piel se ven mucho mejor, aunque todavía tenemos un largo camino que ir. And he's very skinny, so we're going to get him to eat more because we need to get some weight on these bones. ¿A qué te vas a portar súper bien? Que tú y yo ya nos conocemos. Nos portamos súper bien contigo. Que sí. Now he has gone from one extreme, from being so shy and timid, and now he's very, he's very happy to have people around him. That's so great. Yeah. Chico. Muy bien. Campeón. Ahora tenemos un premio. Qué bueno. Notamos que el cuello sale mejor. Vale, bájala abajo. Es que Manolito ha venido a conocer a Chico. ¿A Chico? Sí. 
Muy bien. Son primos hermanos, pero hay un poquito de diferencia, ¿eh? Muy bien, chico. Chicos, es pequeñito de la camada. Muy bien. ¿Qué pasa, Manuelito? ¿Cómo lo ves? Es que has visto ahora la curiosidad que tiene por leer, por hacer cosas... Sí, oye. ¿Qué pasa, chicos? Manuelito es más bueno también. Tanto empeñarte, Manuelito, que querías conocer a Chico y ahora no haces ni caso. Ay, qué gusto ver la cola de Chico moverse. Chico. Pura alegría que si mi chico guapo. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasa? Sí. Sí. Bueno, pues ahora nos lo llevaremos a la plaza a tomar algo. Y que le dé el aire. Lo llevaremos en bracitos. ¿Qué que pasa? Eso... ¿Qué vienes detrás de mí? Siempre vienes detrás de mí, ¿eh? ¿Dónde vas? ¿Dónde vas? ¿Dónde vas? Es que ves el pelaje de Manolito. Ves el pelaje de Manolito y dices, jolín. We've started the Leishmaniasis treatment. Now we wait for improvement. Once this happens, we'll consider doing a radiological study with the possibility of orthopedic surgery. He has an old bone callus on his humerus and it needs an operation. Vale, pero de momento ni placas ni nada hasta que vale, hasta que se recupere físicamente y luego hacemos radiografías. Vale. Perfecto. También es positivo. He has mycoplasmosis from fleas, hepatozoon from ticks, anaplasmosis from ticks, and leishmaniasis from mosquitoes. He has all possible parasitic diseases. He's receiving injections, allopurinol, and also doxycycline for mycoplasmosis and anaplasmosis. We'll check the hepatozoon. Usually it's concurrent, it doesn't produce symptoms, but we'll see how it evolves. It requires specific treatment with imidocarb, but first, we'll wait to see how it progresses. While we wait for Chico's blood test results, we're going to go out and get some fresh air. Bueno, tiene que tener terracita, eh. Sí, con sombrita. Y buenas vistas. Come there, baby. Está muy bien aquí en brazos. Mm -hmm. I think he loves that. Yes. Sí, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Let's see if we can find somewhere nice to sit. Yes. Yes. We're searching for the best place ever because everything is closed. I promise you that. Chico. Ah, ya reconoces tu nombre, eh. Ay, esto sí que estabas deseándolo tú. ¿eh? Uy, qué hambre que tiene nuestro amigo chico. Qué belle, tranquilo. <risa> Mira lo que te han traído. Mm. Una presa. Ay, 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 mira el dedo. No, 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 no. <risa> Se quería, espera, tranquilo, tranquilo. ¿Te lo has visto cómo me ha cogido el dedo? Sí. Vale, 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 ya, ya, ya. ya. Chicos, a hungry boy. Yes. yes. Look at that tiny burger, it's so oh, yummy. Oh, oh. Me había cogido el dedo. Está ahí estirando. Ya, 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 tranquilo. Te irá bien para que te suba todo el ojo. So tasty. Yummy, yummy. Ay, tranquilo, eh. Pierecita. Que casi me arranques el dedo. <laughs> he almost pulled his finger off. Una 
pregunta muy yes. importante. A uh, really important question, chico. Do you prefer the burger or Jairo's finger? ¿Prefieres ah. el burger o el dedo de Jairo? Ya, yeah, he cogido el dedo. Después de ahí. Did you like the hamburger? Yeah. But another day more? Go with less heat, please. It's so hot today. <laughs> Let's head back to the clinic and let's see what the results of the blood test have to say. After the transfusion, he had around 4.12 million red blood cells, and now it's dropped to 3.67 million. He's not ready for another transfusion, but we need to stay vigilant. The albumin levels are better. Do you remember they were at 1.5? Now they're at 1.9, much better, but we need to keep working on him. Thank you very much for your help. Please donate. Help us save Chico. And if you donate, just say so. Tell the world that you're helping this little dog. No podemos hacer todo a la vez. Hi. Two weeks ago, we rescued a dog that was in such a terrible shape that I honestly thought he was not going to make it. We call him Chico. For the past two weeks, Chico has been putting on a fight and he has shown us the meaning of the word resilience. Today, we're going to do something for him, something he's really going to enjoy. Today, you're going to see a side of Chico you haven't seen until now. Have a look at this. This is Chico. We're going to see Chico. We're going to give him a huge surprise and we're going to make sure he gets really strong so he can get better really quickly. Come on. Hey Chico, how are you? How are you doing, baby boy? Hola. Oh. Are you happy to see us? Qué guapo, está animado. A ver la colita, cómo la tienes hoy. Ay, qué bien. Ay, qué bien. Look at that tail, baby. Yeah, should we go for a walk? Vamos a dar una vueltecita. Vamos. Venga, vamos, chicos. Oh. He's getting used to the, being outside. But what he's definitely used to is being carried around like a baby. <laughs> They're treating him really well at the hospital. He has his own separate bed, which is really comfortable. Everyone's picking him up, taking good care of him. He lives like a king. We go. Hacía un poquito que enseguida tienes una sorpresa. Muy bien, Peque. Ah, sí. ¿Qué te parece la sorpresa? ¿Eh? ¡Wow! 
Like this piece. Trocitos pequeños. Yes, like this. Yes, pero cuidado el dedo, eh. Vale, be careful, be careful. Careful, yeah. Careful. Oh, ah. Yummy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Come on, chico, you can't bite the hand that feeds you. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Very good, that looks so tasty. Mm, that looks so good. This looks really good. And soft. Mm, I can smell it. Mm. I did it. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Uf, parece un cocodrilo. Sí, eh. ¿Te has oído los dientes? Did you hear the teeth? Yes, 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 please. ¿Puedes estar tranquilo? Tranquilo. No podemos hacer todo a la vez. Sí, sí es para ti. Es for you. Exactly. Calm down. It's okay. Please. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is a nice thick piece. Wait, wait. But don't eat my fingers. Hey, hey, hey. Se ha llevado el trozo. No te pregoña ni os con el budo nada ya. Did you like that, chico? Is that tasty? You had. A fillet and a half. We're gonna get into so much trouble with the vets. They're gonna say, Why are you feeding him so much? <laughs> I think he enjoyed that. Contigo más, eh, Dani. Es increíble. Se enamora de ti. Sí, cuando lo dejamos, pues eso, que lo dejamos ahí en hospitalización, que esté con nosotros. Cuando desaparezco, se ve, se pegan unos cantos. Es increíble. Y hasta que no aparezco por la puerta, no se calma. Martina casi se lleva a Gigi. Yo no digo más, eh. Ella, es verdad, me lo contó, que estaba enamoradísima de Gigi. Pues, no sé. Yo veo aquí... Amor a primera vista. Amor a primera vista, yes. Ay, 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 me gusta, espérate. Es que ahora... Ah, no, 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 que se va, que se va, que se va. Chico is hungry, and he's hungry for life. But I must admit, Chico still worries me. He still has anemia. He's not recovering as fast as we would like. There's a chance that in a couple of days he's gonna need another blood transfusion. Chico is not out of the woods yet. He needs your help. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save him. He remains at the hospital. He's fighting, but he needs your help. Please donate. Thank you. Did you capture how thin he is? It's unbelievable.
This is a video I really didn't want to make. It's about Chico. When we rescued Chico three weeks ago, we knew this was going to be a very complicated fight. We knew it. He was emaciated, he was dehydrated, completely malnourished, but worst of all, was what we discovered when we did the first blood test. Chico had three lethal conditions, leishmaniasis, ehrlichiosis, and anaplasmosis. Those conditions are killers, each one on their own, but the three of them combined are really terrible. We started medication, and little by little, he showed some improvement. Then he got to a point where he plateaued. We needed to do something. We did a blood transfusion. We got blood from the blood bank, and we did the first blood transfusion, and that really helped him. Two days later, we did another one, and that really helped him as well. So for the past couple of weeks, he has been making improvements, and that's when you're seeing him feeling much better, you see him eating from our hands, he's eating meat. His whole attitude has changed. He's walking the tail. Imagine a dog that has gone through so much is now so happy to be alive and feeling better. ¿Ha dado positivo al Ismani? But that improvement in his clinical condition is not really reflecting on the blood test. You see, he has non-regenerative anemia. That means that his spinal cord is not producing enough red blood cells to carry on, to keep him going.
Now, the medication we're giving him against these conditions is helping the conditions, but it's, it's a long process. It takes a while until we can see real improvement at an analytical level. This is why we have decided that we have to do another blood test. It's going to happen tomorrow. Probably he will need, he will need another one after that. Qué guapo, está animada. A ver la colita, cómo la tiene su hijo. Ay, qué bien. Ay, qué bien. Look at that tail go. Este está muy bien aquí, en brazos. I think he loves that. Te va a enseñar. Uy, uy, uy. Esto sí que estabas deseando lo tuve. Mira lo que te han traído. Una presa. This is a complicated fight. It's even more complicated than he thought it was, it was going to be. On top of it, as you've seen in the many videos, Chico has a broken leg. And at some point, we're gonna have to fix that. But right now, that's not the priority. Right now, the priority is to deal with his anemia levels. Right now, the priority is to make him live. And for this, we need to continue the treatment. As I say, this is taking longer than expected. I wish I had better news, and I wish we could give things a push. This is why I'm here today. We need your help. Chico needs your help. This is taking longer than expected. He remains at the hospital in intensive care. We go there, we see him, we, you know, he feels a little bit better, but still he's fighting. He needs your help. I need to ask for your help once again. Please donate. Help me save Chico. Thank you. He has non-regenerative anemia, which means that his bone marrow is not producing a large number of young red blood cells. We're doing another blood transfusion for Chico. It's shy, no? It's timid. We must correct the bone callus and put a plate on it. Hi, I've just returned from the hospital. A couple of days ago, I made a video announcing that Chico, well, he was making good progress, but that progress wasn't as fast as I would like, and that he was gonna need another blood transfusion. For those of you that don't know who Chico is, this is a dog that we rescued about three weeks ago in a horrible condition, but truly horrible. Since then, we have been fighting to save his life. It's not every day that you see a dog like this, and it's not every day that you see a dog like this making it. Anyway, over the weekend, we gave him a third blood transfusion. Have a look at this. This is Chico. Bueno, pues ahora que vamos a hacer es sacar sangre. Now we are going to draw blood from Chico and check his hematocrit levels. Vale. Venga, quédate aquí conmigo. No, no, aquí, aquí. Chiqui. Aquí, quédate aquí conmigo un rato, hombre. Ella se sabe que está la Parece una ratilla. Sí, tiene la mucosa blanca. Tiene una 
anemia no regenerativa. Eso significa que... He has non-regenerative anemia, which means that his bone marrow is not producing a large number of young red blood cells. It is a little in standby, more or less sustained. What happens is that if he loses blood through his stool and has hemoparasites, he does not have the capacity to generate red blood cells. Sometimes it takes five, six or eight weeks, especially if it is non-regenerative anemia. Sometimes it is pre-regenerative, but it takes time to regenerate. Since he loses blood through his stool due to intestinal parasites, I would give him a little more blood to give us time for the bone marrow to recover and the parasites to die. Okay. Now you have to behave well, Chico. We are going to leave him for half an hour at 175, although we have given him an antihistamine an hour ago. So first we are going to infuse slowly. It is rare that he gives a reaction, because it is not the first transfusion we do with this blood. When half an hour passes, and we see that everything is fine, we will increase the dose and see how it goes. And He doesn't like the cage at all. He just wants to be outside with us. It seems that Chico is being spoiled here at the clinic because he doesn't want to be inside the box. He's much calmer now. I'm guessing it's better using his back legs. <laughs> We're doing another blood transfusion for Chico. This time it's in the femoral vein, which is in the back leg. So hopefully this transfusion will finally help his red blood cells climb a bit higher and help him get better soon. Hola, Aitana, ¿cómo va? ¿Cómo lo llevas? Bienísima, ¿no? Bueno, ¿qué tal, chico? ¿Cómo estás? Madre mía, campeón. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás, Becky? Te quieres ir por ahí, ¿eh? You will leave. Hmm. Hey. So, is our baby doing great after the blood transfusion of the weekend. Huh? It's so funny. Whenever you take him in your arms, he just, he freezes. Why are you freezing, baby? <laughs> He's incredible. He really is incredible. Anyway, everything, <laughs> everything is cool. Let's look at him. 
es shy, ¿no? Es tímido. Ya ves, ya ves. He's doing great. He's doing great. Very well. We have been able to complete the third blood transfusion, and he is improving every day. He's very sweet with us. We're delighted to have him here. Now we have to look at the, at the leg. That's the second part. The first is having everything stabilized, and the second part is to see how we can repair the bone callus on his leg. Here in the humerus, he had a fracture and a callus formed that gives him mobility problems. We must correct the bone callus and put a plate on it. No, because we have to anesthetize him to have a good radiological study. And before that, we would like the animal to be as stable as possible. He has captivated us all. He is the star of vet clinics at this moment. Chico is adorable. He's a mix of sweetness, tenderness, toughness, and resilience. I think those four words are are what describe this little superhero. Anyway, Chico remains in hospital. We're gonna we're gonna do another blood transfusion tomorrow, and I will let you know how how he evolves. Thank you very much for your help. Really, if any of you would like to donate towards his treatment and recovery. There's a link at the bottom of the video. I will be very grateful. Thank you very much, and I, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Let's do Chico's x-ray. This is amazing. A pellet broke his humerus. This is the work of someone evil. This is pure evil. Some people, unbelievable, really unbelievable. It's incredible. And after all that, Chico still loves people. Chico was shot. He was shot. Since we rescued Chico, found the streets in an emaciated condition, about to die, we knew there was something wrong with his leg. We knew the leg was broken and he was trying to step on it and the, the bone had set by itself. But we didn't know the kind of fracture he had. We couldn't put him under anesthesia because he was too weak, he had anemia, so we had to wait. But today we thought, okay, it's enough, we're gonna do an X-ray. And nothing prepared me for what I found out. Chico was shot. He was shot. Where is Chico? He's gaining weight, huh? My goodness, eight kilos, that's great. Let's see if you're going to fatten him up now, he's a glutton. Today you will be having an x-ray, Chico. Although I don't think they will sedate you. No, we won't sedate him. It's not necessary because he is such a good dog. He's very good. And look at his coat, his hair is already getting prettier. Will you behave well, Chico? If you don't, they'll have to sedate you, although I don't think that's necessary. They've given you a teddy bear. How well they take care of you. We'll do the x-ray right away.
chico. Es que no va a ir, ¿eh? Chico. Come here. What a scoundrel. Uy, qué sinvergüenza. Ven aquí, hombre. On top of giving you hamburgers, who here has given you hamburgers? Nobody. Only me. And beef. And now you do this to me. Let's do Chico's x-ray. Qué gran hoja. Sí, se le he dado yo antes. Que le encanta, se lo lleva. Chico has been in the hospital for three weeks. During this time, we have observed how he has been gaining weight and how he has started to trust all the team members. Chico has become the beloved mascot of the clinic. His tail never stops wagging. His happiness is evident as is his desire to overcome fear and pain. Nothing had prepared us for what we were going to discover in the X-rays, a gunshot wound. Chico was a victim of a gunshot that wreaked havoc wherever it passed. Our next goal is to repair his leg, although it will be a lengthy process as Chico also suffers from several diseases that require treatment, such as leishmaniasis, anaplasmosis, ehrlichiosis, and non-regenerative anemia, which complicates his recovery. Vamos a ver la radiografía, a ver qué sale. Let's do the x-rays to see the injury he has on his humerus. As he's such a well-behaved dog, we'll try to do it without sedation. This is amazing, a pellet broke his humerus. This is the work of someone evil. Is it a pellet? Yes, it's a pellet, a bullet. Unbelievable. So the pellet broke this area here. Yes, it broke the bone. And as a result of this, a bone callus was created. Unbelievable. This is pure evil. Some people, unbelievable, really unbelievable. It's incredible. And after all that, Chico still loves people. Unbelievable.
when we rescue an animal, we fall in love with them. We invest ourselves, we provide with all the care, we spend time with them, we fall in love with the little quirks. Like when you grab Chico in your arms and he freezes and he looks at you like, okay, don't hurt me. And now I know. Now I understand, nothing prepares you to see that animal, to see that somebody has taken aim at him and shot him. He couldn't be killed with that pellet, but that pellet did horrible damage on his leg. And he ran and he escaped. And this, this explains so much about him. Anyway, we're not gonna have to operate, we're gonna have to break the leg again and fix it with a metal plate Another complex surgery, three hours surgery, minimum. Anyway, Chico is in our hands. Please donate. Help us save him. Thank you. Dad, I hear you recording for the World Awareness Society. What is that? Yeah, you mean World Animal Awareness Society? Well, I'm a volunteer with the World Animal Awareness Society, Emerson. I volunteer my voice for use in animal rescue videos. And I don't know if you know this, but everyone at the World Animal Awareness Society is a volunteer. But what do they do? They're award-winning volunteer filmmakers who have interacted with 2,200 animal welfare nonprofits, including Maddie's Fund and Austin Pets Alive, providing information-rich content to more than 45 countries in the last 10 years. Dad, what's that mean? Okay, um, how about this? They make short movies about animals that are in peril, that are hurting, you know, in bad shape or dying or homeless in the streets. They film rescuers doing heroic work so they can focus on saving lives. The World Animal Awareness Society posts the rescue videos on social media, and then they're broadcast on TV sharing the heroic stories with people all over the world so they can understand what's really going on. Cool, I like animals. How did you start volunteering? Well, I met their director through social media and saw the work that they were doing and knew that I could help their cause. So I asked if I could volunteer. I am very fortunate to have really great jobs providing the voice to so many shows that I believe it's important to give back. Since I've been volunteering with the World Animal Awareness Society, they have created the seventh most influential YouTube channel for dog rescue lovers in the world, WA2S Films. That's so cool. Hey, Dad, nice job. Do you think I could volunteer too? You already are, Em. You already are. You're watching the World Animal Awareness Society. Yep, that'll do, Emerson. That'll do. You're watching the World Animal Awareness Society. <laughs>